travels with Charlie, In Search of America is a travelogue by John Steinbeck, one of America's greatest writers. Published in 1962, the book is a memoir of Steinbeck's journey across America in the early 1960s, with his poodle Charlie as his only companion. The book is divided into 40 chapters, each describing a different leg of Steinbeck's journey. He starts his journey in September 1960 from his home in Sag Harbor, New York, in a truck he has outfitted with a camper. Steinbeck's plan is to travel across the country, starting in the northeast and heading west, and then down to New Orleans, Texas, and finally to California, where he will visit his childhood home. In the opening chapters, Steinbeck describes the preparations for his journey, his concerns about leaving his wife, and his thoughts on what he expects to find on his journey. He is worried that he has become disconnected from the people of America, and he hopes that by traveling through the country, he will reconnect with the real America. Steinbeck's first stop is in Maine, where he visits the town of Deer Isle. He meets some local fishermen and listens to their stories about life on the coast. Steinbeck describes the rugged beauty of the Maine coast, and his admiration for the people who make their living from the sea. From Maine, Steinbeck heads west, stopping in Vermont and then moving on to New Hampshire. In each place he stops, he meets people and learns about their lives. He is struck by the different ways of life he encounters, and he begins to feel more connected to the people of America. As Steinbeck travels through the Midwest, he encounters the wide-open spaces of the Great Plains. He describes the beauty of the prairies and the loneliness of the landscape. He visits the Dakotas, Montana, and Wyoming, and he is struck by the hardiness of the people who live there. Steinbeck spends time with cowboys and ranchers, and he is impressed by their rugged individualism. Steinbeck also spends time in Minnesota and Wisconsin, where he meets people from all walks of life. He describes the changing landscape of America as he travels through the country, and he is struck by the contrast between the urban areas and the rural areas. As he travels through the South, Steinbeck encounters the deep racial divisions that exist in America. He spends time in New Orleans, where he meets people from both sides of the racial divide. He is saddened by the prejudice and hatred he sees, but he is also inspired by the people who are working to make things better. In Texas, Steinbeck encounters the oil boom that is transforming the state. He spends time in Houston and Dallas, where he meets people who are benefiting from the boom. He is also struck by the environmental damage that is being done, and he worries about the long-term consequences of the oil industry. Finally, Steinbeck arrives in California, where he visits his childhood home in Salinas. He is struck by how much the town has changed since he was a boy. He visits old friends and family members, and he reflects on his own life and the changes he has seen in America. Throughout his journey, Steinbeck reflects on his own life and on the changes that have taken place in America since he was a young man. He is struck by the rapid pace of change and by the disconnect between people in different parts of the country. He is also inspired by the resilience and resourcefulness of the American people. Travels with Charlie is a powerful and poignant reflection on America in the early 1960s. Steinbeck's observations are sharp and insightful, and his writing is lyrical and evocative. The book is a testament to Steinbeck's talent as a writer and his deep love for America and its people. He paints a vivid picture of the country he encounters on his journey, capturing both its beauty and its flaws. Despite the passage of time, Travels with Charlie remains relevant today. Steinbeck's observations about the changing nature of America and the tensions that exist between different regions and groups of people are still relevant. His reflections on the environment and the impact of human activity on the natural world are also prescient. Travels with Charlie is not only a travelogue but also a meditation on the nature of America and its people. Steinbeck's journey is both physical and emotional, and his insights into the American character are profound. The book is a must-read for anyone interested in America and its history, and it is a testament to the enduring legacy of one of America's greatest writers.
Steinbeck's writing style is both engaging and introspective. He is a master storyteller who weaves together his observations and experiences with his own personal reflections. He is never judgmental or preachy, but rather he allows the reader to draw their own conclusions from the experiences he shares. One of the most memorable aspects of Travels with Charlie is Steinbeck's relationship with his dog Charlie. Charlie is a constant companion on his journey, and Steinbeck's love and devotion to him is evident throughout the book. Charlie is not just a pet, but a friend and confidant who accompanies Steinbeck on his journey of discovery. Another notable aspect of the book is the way in which Steinbeck engages with the people he meets on his journey. He is genuinely interested in their lives and experiences, and he listens to their stories with empathy and compassion. He seeks out people from all walks of life, from fishermen in Maine to cowboys in Montana, and he portrays them with honesty and respect. Despite its many strengths, Travels with Charlie has also been subject to criticism in recent years. Some critics have accused Steinbeck of exaggerating or even fabricating some of the events and encounters in the book. Others have pointed out that Steinbeck's perspective is limited by his own privilege as a white, male writer. While these criticisms are valid, they do not detract from the overall impact of the book. Travels with Charlie remains a powerful and influential work that captures the spirit of America in the early 1960s. It is a testament to Steinbeck's skill as a writer, his love for his country, and his deep empathy for his fellow human beings. 7 Lessons Learned from Travels with Charlie, In Search of America by John Steinbeck The importance of connecting with others Steinbeck's willingness to engage with people from different backgrounds and walks of life allowed him to gain a deeper understanding of America and its people. The Beauty and Fragility of Nature, Steinbeck's observations of the natural world and its impact on humanity are a reminder of our responsibility to protect and preserve the environment. The Power of Introspection, Steinbeck's journey is not just a physical one, but also an emotional and spiritual one. He uses his experiences to reflect on his own life and values. The need for empathy and compassion, Steinbeck's interactions with people on his journey are marked by a deep sense of empathy and compassion. His willingness to listen and understand others is a valuable lesson for all of us. The value of friendship, Steinbeck's relationship with his dog Charlie is a testament to the power of companionship and the importance of having close friends in our lives. The Complexity of American Identity, Steinbeck's reflections on the changing nature of America and the tensions that exist between different regions and groups of people are a reminder that American identity is multifaceted and constantly evolving. The Enduring Legacy of Great Literature, Steinbeck's Travels with Charlie remains relevant and powerful over 50 years after its initial publication, reminding us of the power of literature to capture the spirit of a time and place. If you're looking for a powerful and engaging travelogue that captures the essence of America in the early 1960s, look no further than Travels with Charlie, In Search of America by John Steinbeck. We hope you enjoyed this book summary and found it informative and engaging. If you did, please consider liking and sharing it with others who might be interested in learning more about this classic work of literature. And don't forget to subscribe to our channel to receive more book summaries in this category. Thanks for watching.